Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th, but y'all know the timing is fluid, right? So, let's just see what comes up. Timing is fluid, so this is right around the 4th, 5th, 6th, whatever, in the near future. Eight of Cups reversed. Now the Eight of Cups reversed is thinking about leaving. Thinking about it. Thinking about going someplace. Thinking about leaving something behind. Pretending to be happy. You know, the Eight of Cups reversed is somebody that is pretending to be happy. Superficial. Shallow. Staying put. There also could be an apology. There could be. But this is avoiding. Staying somewhere that they don't want to be. Somebody is staying even though they don't want to be there. Refusing to move on. There's probably somebody that is lacking self-esteem and lacking self-worth by the looks of things. Uh, they want to leave or they want to go someplace, but they don't have the... Uh, they can't master their emotions enough to do so. All right? They're not in a happy situation because they're thinking about leaving and they want to leave, but... For some reason, they can't. This is emotional weakness. We got somebody here that's emotionally weak. <sighs> Queen of Wands reversed. So Queen of Wands reversed. Now this is, a, yeah, I don't know, we could be dealing with a drama queen. Uh, this is uh, controlling, a controlling individual. Definitely lack of self-esteem and lack of self-confidence. Weak, weak. Oh my God, lack of strength. So yeah, this is weak. You got somebody here that doesn't have the courage. They don't have, and it's a male or a female. This is somebody who just doesn't have the, the strength. They can't, they can't make a move. Somebody uh, could even be upset, like angry, you know, frustrated. There's an imbalance. They're struggling, struggling to go with the flow. Need to leave something behind, but can't find the strength or the courage to do so. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, maybe another card for that Queen of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something's not working out, not putting in effort, not working hard enough. We got somebody here that's not working hard. Laziness. Lazy. Um, no desire, no ambition, no drive. Poor, poor, pitiful me. I can't do it. You know, and then we got these two eights reverse. That's lack of abundance, refusing to move on. Stuck. Somebody's really, 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 really stuck. Nothing's coming to fruition because this person doesn't take action, you know? Wants it handed to them. Doesn't doesn't want to do it. Wants it easy. We, we could also, this person may be overly proud as well. There could be too much pride here. Something's not working out. This person doesn't work, doesn't want to work, can't work. Uh, not putting in very much effort, you know, to make a change. Six of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God! So there's an absence of success here. These are all reversed, and, and I, you know, how I shuffle is that when you get them all in reverse, that means there's an absence. There's an absence of success, and there's an absence of success because we have somebody here. This person may be self-righteous, you know. Oh, I, you, I deserve it, but I don't want to do anything for it. You know, that kind of thing. This person is, uh, oh God, six of pentacles reversed. This is, I'm wondering if somebody's getting unemployed, getting fired or can't find a job. You know, they may not, uh, it may be different, very, very different, you know, um, controlling, know-it-all. You could have a know-it-all here. No, nobody really wants to work with a know-it-all. Um, anyhow, 
somebody could definitely be losing a job. They could be losing a job. They could be getting fired or they may not be getting some money that they thought they were going to get. Could be causing be causing them to be upset. There's probably a loss of funding here. Money, funding, you know, with these two cards. Or a loss of a job even. Somebody could be losing a job. And it could be because they're melodramatic. This is a gossip as well. When you get the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who talks a lot, you know. Can't keep their mouth shut. No offense. Just telling you what the card means. Okay. This is somebody who likes attention. You think about fire. Fire needs attention to grow. And the only way to get attention is to talk. You know, and the looks draw the attention as well. So we guess that we have an attention seeker here. Just saying. So we do. We have an attention seeker here that may talk a lot. You know, and maybe they've said something, and now they're they they could get fired, or they could get you know they could have some sort of loss or something. Just saying. With the six of pentacles reversed and the eight of pentacles reversed, somebody could be somebody could be thinking about letting them go. You know, um, anyhow. Okay, Six of Pentacles reverse. That is an injustice. Not not listening to any advice. Like I said, so we got somebody here that doesn't listen to any. This is a know-it-all. Very very controlling energy with the, with that Queen of Wands in reverse. We got somebody here who clings to control, that likes to control, that wants to be in control. Uh, this person may have abused their power. They may be greedy, very, very greedy and selfish. Something to do with money here. We may, have, and it's a male or a female. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Could be anybody. We have somebody here that is very selfish and greedy, and it's like it, and it feels like they're about to lose something uh, of value. You know, they're about they're not going to get what they thought that they were going to get, and it's because it's strings attached. You know, this is strings attached charity. Somebody has abused their power. They have abused some sort of generosity. And now they're probably pissed off. You know, they're pissed off. They're not getting what they, you know, it's like, oh, I was only doing this to get, if somebody did something with expectations, you know, they had a plan. They came up with a plan to get something with, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're, we're planning to do this and maybe we'll we'll get this payout well they're not going to get the payout that they thought they were going to get so their plans are falling apart you know this is somebody who is very manipulative very very sneaky so i feel like we have a very sneaky individual who planned to do something to get money and it's not working out for them and now they're probably upset and it may be time to leave and they don't have the money because it feels like, you know, it's time to go somewhere, but there's no money. There's a lack of money here. But there's, there's definitely somebody that in this reading, we have a person that, I don't know if somebody's throwing a tantrum. They may be uh, acting hysterical even, you know, very melodramatic energy, um, getting very, very upset because there's no money. You know, there's definitely a problem with, with money here, okay, or on the job or something like that. Um, there's been an abuse of generosity as well. You know, somebody was being kind and probably giving, you know, or something like that, and now somebody wants more. They just want more and more and more and more and more and more, more, more. So this is, you know, and I feel like there's an apology that is needed, but this person is so... Because this is like an apology that is needed, but this person is so um, egotistical. You think about you. Th you think about you know um, the strength card. Okay, Re the strength card is about ego. She is ruled by by the strength card. Okay, and then you think about the emperor card. I'm just saying this is somebody who likes to be in control, that likes to be in power, that thinks that they're the boss. You know, very, very self-righteous that thinks that, you know, it has to go this way. They are about to get something taken away from them or they're not going to get what they thought that they were going to get. And it's because of their attitude. Oh, entitled. That's what I was, I was, this person feels like they are entitled, like somebody owes them something. Three of Swords reversed. Oh my God. And the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. So, now that is a conflict. A message that you don't want to hear. Somebody's going to get a message that they don't want to hear about not getting what they thought that they were going to get. There's some sort of heartache here. Heartbreak. 
pain, suffering. It's time. It's time to leave the pain and suffering behind. It is. It's time to leave the pain and suffering behind, even if it hurts. There's some sort of investigation. Somebody was being very sneaky as well. Very, very, very sneaky. There's going to be some, some messages going back and forth that probably cause conflict. I think it's going to be conflict. I feel like uh, somebody has done something foolishly. They have done something foolish. You know, they were entitled. They think that they're entitled. They think that they're entitled to receive something that they're not entitled to receive. And I feel like there's some sort of pain involved. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to move on. It's time to just let it all go and, and cut your losses. Cut your losses. So it feels like somebody needs to cut their losses. But they're struggling to do so because they're so proud. There's pride in the way. There is pride in the way. Somebody's going to be leaving without, you know, leaving without receiving something. Okay. Um, now this three of swords reverse. This is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. It's time to leave the past behind. Let bygones be bygones. But we have somebody here that is clinging to control, that cannot let go of the need to control. I, you owe me. They're very, very entitled. Cannot give. This is somebody that cannot give. It's like an enemy in disguise, and it is. Whoever this person is, they've been watching, they've been planning, they've been scheming. Somebody has been scheming. And, and I don't know if there's, there, we could have a thief here. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. Swallow your pride. It's time to go. Leave it all behind. It's not about the money. Six of Pentacles reverses is is a uh, strong control. Somebody is really, really controlling. That is abusing, abusing generosity. You know, strings attached. There's strings attached. Kindness. You know what I mean. Somebody was only kind or doing what they were doing just for the money. And now they're really, really, really upset. They're really upset because they're not getting any more money. There's no more money to be had. Somebody may be receiving some communication from somebody that is struggling financially. This person has ill intentions. Okay? So be careful. Just saying. It feels like this person may want to may want to say I'm sorry or something, but their 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 main focus is getting some money. A message is coming. Put it that way. A message is absolutely with this card and this card. A message is definitely coming, or messages. This the messages that are coming are from an individual that is entitled. Very, very prideful, very, very controlling. This person uh, is struggling. They're struggling financially. And it's like they're, they just need some sort of reprieve. Financially. This is not a friend. This is this is uh, be careful. Be really careful. I think we have somebody here that has ill intentions. Okay, they may they may want forgiveness. They may want forgiveness. You know, because they do. I feel like somebody wants forgiveness, but they have 
this is an it's an abuse of power it's an abuse of generosity they may say they want forgiveness but in 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 reality they want money it's sad King of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. That just clarified the whole reading. It absolutely 100% did. That is somebody who just wants money. Is not interested in a relationship. I need money. I'm struggling financially. This is somebody who has overspent. That has not saved. Has lived a good life. Who should have been saving their money. But spent it on materialistic things. And now they're struggling. My advice is to hold on to your money. Because nobody's going to give you theirs. Good luck. 